Hey y'all, I'm Taylor. Welcome to Plant Chats and Daily Naps, which totally rhymes if you don't think about it too hard. Today, I'm gonna be giving you a little tour of my IKEA greenhouse cabinet, so let's just get into it. Okay, so first I'm gonna give you all a little overview of the cabinet as a whole. It is the narrower Fabricor and it's in a light green color. On top of it, I have my roommate Stromanthe Trio Star. She's a little crispy, but we love her anyways and she's doing well regardless. Inside, I've got some ugly cords. I have one of these cheap Amazon grow lights on every single shelf. And on the middle shelf, I have this little oil diffuser serving as a humidifier. It more than does its job. It's often at 99% humidity, which I'm super fine with. Um, and then on the bottom shelf, I've got this little USB fan just to keep the airflow going. For some reason, the shelf with the fan is the one that has the most trouble with like standing air and plants getting residue on them, like this Leca here. But the rest of the plants seem fine, so I just saved that shelf for hardier plants. All right, let's explore inside. Okay, so I'm gonna start off in the back left corner of the top shelf. This is my curly leaf ficus benjamina doesn't really need to be in a greenhouse setting, but I know that something with this thin and delicate of leaves would really appreciate some extra humidity, so I put her in here and she's been thriving. Look at all that new growth. Yes, I just think it's the cutest little plant. I love it. And then in the back here, I've got a little or wide form Adamsonia in Lecca. It, the leaves were getting a little bit small as it was growing, so I decided to make a tiny moss pull out of a chopstick and sphagnum moss, and hopefully that helps us get some bigger leaves. Um, in front of those two, I've got this little propagation vase, and inside I've got a regular old Syngonium potophyllum. My roommate's was getting a little leggy and she was like, it's so ugly. So I chopped it up and I'm gonna try to make her a little fuller plant so she likes it. This is very exciting. This is my one and only Begonia Maculata Whitei. It's rooting up super nicely. I don't know if you can see those roots in there, but those are from the Maculata. And that's a new leaf. So excited to watch that unfurl. To the left of those two, I have my Begonia with Lacucci. She's super fuzzy and adorable. I got her in a plant trade and the guy was like, oh, I'm just gonna throw this in, it's kind of a rehab. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'll take a free Begonia. Um, and it's been doing really well. I am I love to pet the leaves and I just think it's really pretty and I love fuzzy plants. So. Hiding in the middle here, I have an alocasia stingray. It's actually three babies that someone on Facebook sold me. Um, she grew them from the bulbs, and unfortunately on the drive here, her water bottle fell and broke off the other two leaves, but I think it's going to be okay. I'm not that worried about it. It's going to be fine. This big lad getting in my way all the time is the Philodendron squamiferum. This is by far the biggest leaf on it. And you can see these incredible hairy petioles. Um, if the leaf would get out of the way, we could see that better. I have it growing in Lekka. And here is the new growth point that's actually putting off active growth. So. This is the newest leaf, looks really good. They're still very immature, so they don't have any lobes yet. But it is starting to get the hairy petioles, so I'm excited about that. 
In front of him, we have my little jewel orchid, Ludicia Discolor, and it's doing super well. I kill every orchid on the planet, but this one's more of a terrestrial orchid, I think, so we get along a lot better. She really appreciates the humidity in the greenhouse, I think. Um, one spooky skeleton, sorry I didn't give y'all a, a scare warning, but there it is. Um, and it's putting off a new little shoot, so that's exciting, and I really like watching this one grow. In the front, I have some propagation. So this big leaf here is a Begonia Rex Painter's Palette. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I took this leaf off a friend's plant, and I'm just kind of hoping it roots up. There's nothing happening yet, but we're going to hope for the best. Um, this is another plant I got in a trade. This is a Hoya Macrophylla Albo Marginata. The margins are pretty small, but I'm hoping the light in the greenhouse is enough to bring them out when she does grow. Have some really nice roots going on there, so feeling good. Feeling like it's working. This one I just got yesterday, and I'm feeling a little stressed about it. This is a philodendron squamical. You can see that the sheath for the new leaf is super hairy. I love hairy petioles. Um, and I'm concerned because the roots that she gave it to me with look really skinny, so I'm thinking maybe they were rotting and she pulled off the outside of them, so I might have to just cut off all the roots and start over. If there's a better propagation method that y'all can think of for this, um, hit me up in the comments because I would really like this one to live. Alright, and on the second shelf, got some really exciting things going on. This is my Begonia soli mutata. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the veins and the corrugation is insane. I don't know if you can hear. It sounds like sandpaper. Um, really pretty and I love how the new leaves have this red fuzz around them when they come in. Gorgeous. Um, in front of that we have my adorable baby Julau. A begonia as well. I got this from Botanica's and if you look really closely you can see there's a new leaf coming in which is super exciting because it's been part of the one leaf club for a few weeks which is kind of a long time in begonia time. Uh, in front of her I have my brand new Anthurium clarinervium. This is her new leaf. Hello. I have it sitting in water right now because I'm going to be converting it to semi-hydro and I think she'll do really well with that. Most of my anthuriums really like that. Um, this is a super exciting recent acquisition. This is my Philodendron Gloriosum chunk and it has four active growth points. So. This bigger one right here is a leaf that I think is about to unfurl, which would be amazing. And then right there is the other largest growth point. It's got two really tiny ones that are probably going to be too hard to see. But then next to it right in the right hand side there is just a varicosum chunk that I stuck in there because I want to see if it roots. Um, this is much more interesting to look at varicosum. This is the top cutting from a plant I got that had root rot. Um, it was super floppy and I couldn't see the roots in the pot and I was just like, mm, something ain't right. So I checked the roots and they were all rotted off. There was like one maybe viable root. So I just decided to chop it all up and start over but I think she's taking to the water really well. Got some nice roots growing there and a new leaf coming out so I think she's gonna make it guys. Um, here is a rough looking guy. This is my Philodendron Melanocrysum. That's the newest leaf right there. 
and I'm rooting it up as well. I got this really janky looking plant for a good deal and I was like, I can save that and I think it's going to be just fine. Also in here I have another squamiferum. They are my favorite. So that's why I have a million. Just getting only two. Um, that's its root right there. It's doing really well. And yeah. Hopefully I can add them to the pot of squamiferum on the top shelf soon. This right here is my Anthurium pedata radiatum. Sorry, I'm like out of breath. Um, it looks a little rough right now. I don't think it was getting enough humidity at the nursery, but I'm confident we can bring him back. I also have him in water so I can convert him to semi-hydro, and yeah, I'm just really excited to watch this one grow because they look really amazing when they're mature. Down here on another chopstick moss pole, I have my itty bitty philodendron micans. Um, I just love that velvety leaf. Look at that. This is the newest leaf and I just wanted to encourage them to be as big and beautiful as possible so that's why I put on this tiny moss pole. And we have some new growth so that's super exciting. Go baby go! So yeah, that's this whole shelf. Moving down, this is kind of a weird, awkward, um, you know, stepchild shelf where I put all the ones that, I don't know, don't, don't inspire me as much. So over here I have this very spooky skeleton pot with a cryptanthus in it. It's mostly green because it's not getting enough light, but still super cute and I just really like this combo. It makes me laugh. This is a Peperomia fairy ray propagation that I took for a friend so I'll be giving that to her soon. More Peperomias in here. I've got some string of turtles cuttings on sphagnum and then the other two varicosum nodes that I took from that root rotted Varicosum. This one looks to be doing well. It's got those little mineral buildups that they get right before they put out roots. And a growth point, so we love that. In this weird little Tupperware, I've got some Alocasia Frydeck bulbs. Um, I found them when I was converting my Frydeck to semi-hydro, and I think they're probably just going to rot, but worth a try. Um, in the back is just a little trailing ficus that I have. It's kind of just to fill the space and because it fit in that little skull pot. I really like skeletons if you can't tell. Um, the fan's kind of beating the hell out of it, but he's staying strong. He's powering through. Over here is a quite sad looking philodendron Florida ghost leaf. Um, I got this rooted cutting from someone, and the roots look really good, and I think this little nub, yep, so it's pushing out a growth point, which makes me really, really happy. I think it's going to pull through, but we're probably going to lose this leaf, but that's okay. We'll get some really nice new ones. Um, and then the last plant in the greenhouse is a really interesting one. This is my... Thematophyllum sprucianum, um, formerly known as philodendron goldii. It's getting a new leaf, we love that, and I have it in this cute little jar in Lekka, and he's chilling, he's doing a good job. Probably also doesn't need to be in the greenhouse, but I have the space, so why not? And yeah, that's everybody. All right, y'all, that is the tour. Thank you so much for watching. If you have an Ikea greenhouse cabinet that you want me to see, I would love to. Just post a picture and tag me on Instagram at Big City Garden Gnome, and I'll share it to my story. Thank you again, and hopefully I'll see you next time.